What is going on everyone? Welcome back on Block Gems. Today I want to talk about the sandbox and specifically I want to discuss the last public land sale and what we can make of it after that it took place a couple of days ago. So I made an extensive video on the topic discussing uh, the value that uh, this public land sale would have brought to, to the users, to the uh, prospect purchasers uh, and the fact that uh, it would have been more uh, valuable compared to the previous land sales and we made multiple speculations about what it could have happened uh, and also why it was more valuable. Now guys, before we jump into the content, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. It helps me very, very much to keep the content coming. So if you're interested in uh, looking back and uh, looking at the kind of predictions that we made and, and the kind of speculations that we made about the last public land sale before it took place, before it actually occurred, uh, I will link in the card above the link to that actual video so that you know what we are actually talking about, what we are discussing. Uh, just as a reminder, uh, I said that in my opinion there was much more value because there was much more density in large uh, estates owned either by partners or by the sandbox itself uh, and also because of the dynamic related to the value that was associated with premium land where it was located and um, the relationship with the NFT that was uh, associated in the bundle. So one of the things that I said was that the land here would have sold pretty quickly. The land, there was no premium land, but there was bordering the, uh, the large estates owned either by the sandbox or by uh, partners would have sold pretty quickly. Now, I do not have this time a recording to show you what happened because unfortunately my uh, video recording uh, software uh, didn't perform as it should have that time. Uh, and so I do not have that recording, but if you have participated in the sale, you have seen how fast land in general sold and in particular that land uh, went off the shelf. And guys, in this occasion, we have seen how in literally few minutes, everything sold out. Below, uh, under five minutes, uh, everything was sold out and probably even matter of seconds because sometimes what you see live happening here, it is not so immediately updated. And so it happens sometimes that when you click on a plot of land, you you try to buy it and it's it's booked already, although you, you saw it green. And this is what happened to me, actually. I was after a specific location, specific plot of land that I wanted to buy, and I didn't make it. I just didn't make it in time to buy what I wanted to buy. And so I didn't make any further purchase. But this just testifies how quickly land sold out and how much value the uh, purchaser, the basically the new owners of these plots of land found in this sale. And this was exactly as we said, exactly as we discussed. We said there would have been more, more value. We said there would have been, uh, the, the incentives would have been much more aligned uh, in, in this sale compared to the, to the previous ones. A couple of, um, of mentions that are super important. So we see that the floor has been going up pretty uh, pretty dramatically, actually. A couple of days ago, we were at about 0 0.5, 0 0.2.6, um, just after the sale. And now this, the, the floor is getting a lot more strength. And keep in mind that at the time of the sale, a regular lot of land was selling for, in ether terms, about 0.1, 415 ether, meaning that one regular lot of land sells for around 1000 cent, but it translates in ether for 0 0.14. So you can see that there is a massive difference between what you're paying for and what the market, the secondary market is, price, is pricing the floor at right now. And this is a very bullish sign, but there is something specific that I want to discuss with you guys. So I've been running some analysis that I want to show you. So if you look at this chart, what I am portraying here 
is basically a one-on-one -on -one, uh, representation of the map that relates only to what was for sale during the public sale on the Sandbox website. So uh, just to give you a reference, because otherwise they look just like a, an, a mass of, of squares, just to give you some references, um, the, we, here we have one large square and one large square here with two additional squares. This is basically this large square plus this one and these two areas here. So again, this area here at the center of the map is basically represented by this area here. And this uh, conglomerate of estates is basically all this missing area around here, all this missing area around here. Now, these green and reddish dots are defined not merely as normal land and premium land, although this is also what they represent, but these nuances represents also how quickly they got settled on the blockchain. Now, please allow me the benefit of the doubt on this. I want to go back on the data and check again multiple times before I'm 100% sure about this. But what I am noticing is that probably, and again, please give me the benefit of the doubt, um, that most likely, or at least probably, the one also of the things you're paying for when you're buying uh, premium land is a little bit more speed in executing the transaction on the blockchain, basically a little bit more of gas to execute the transaction. And this is because these transactions were basically these plots of land were transferred uh, at a earlier time compared to these other ones as the effective transfer date. But again, I am only 80% sure about this. I just thought it was an interesting point to show because this could be another point of value that you can find when you buy premium land. Although some people might find more value in it, some people might find less value in it in terms of certainty and speediness of the transaction. But what I really find interesting is the following. In this other chart, which is essentially the same chart, what I am showing though is a a bunch of green dots that are not differentiated between uh, premium land and normal land and some red dots that do represent the sales that occurred on the secondary market in the 48 hours after the public land sale. Let me explain this further. Basically, after you bought this, we, one question that we could ask is, after I bought a piece of land, how many people that participated together with me to this sale are actually immediately flipping the lot of land that they purchased on the secondary market for a quick buck. So all these red uh, dots or these red squares represent the plots of land that, they, that were actually sold within 48 hours after the sale. Let me show you an example here, for instance. We're talking about a plot of land that got that was sold on the 28th of May, so the day after the sale, at 5.45 circa. And the price that you see, last sale, last sale total price, as it's written there, is zero point, roughly 0 0.3 Ether. This is how much it was sold for. And think about it, this is a 100% uh, return on what you paid for. Because we mentioned earlier that the overall 1,000 cent was roughly uh, 0 0.15, 0 0.14 ether the day of the sale. So you're making double the money just by selling on the secondary market the next day, the very next day. And this is a common pattern. You can see that the prices are the same, the dates are the same. Uh, you can see that this is the amount, more or less, that was charged for on the secondary market for regular land on, on, this, um, on this sale. Of course, if you take a, this one that was a premium land, 
the price is higher. You go to at 0 0.48. But in general, if it was regular land, this you know 0 0.3 was the range in Ethereum terms that you were that, that you were going to charge for that land. And why this is extremely important to analyze? Because out of all these plots of lands, only 27 uh, lots were sold on the secondary market in the next 48 hours. Basically, there were no flippers. There were only very, very few people amongst all these owners that decided to flip their land for a quick buck, which in turn means that the vast majority, actually the overwhelming majority of the buyers were in the sale buying to hold for the longer term. Now, I do not know if someone else has sold other some other lots in the, uh, for instance, yesterday or today, that I do not know. But the pure flippers that just buy to sell immediately, in the immediate term after the sale, they were basically not there. There were just very, very few people doing that. So uh, this is extremely bullish, in, in my opinion. And it is reflected also in the floor price for land, which has gone up in in, in price, so um, I think that you you guys can can uh, get some information from from this this chart. And guys, I hope that you find some value that this uh, video is helpful for you to make your own research. And please, if that is the case, remember to subscribe to the channel because more content at this time is coming. And hit the like button. And thank you very very much for your time. See you in the next video.